Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. This government can't do shit. We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Ow. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Hey, rookie. Rookie. Wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Crossing over the hand bane now. Officially in Peggy country. How much longer? Just long enough for you to change your mind. So we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Seed, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff. And Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt, open a call with dispatch. 10-4. White horse to dispatch, over. Marino. We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. Roger, Sheriff. Is that planning to go through with this? Over. We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. <laughs> All right. Lucky I'm not there. If you get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. 10 4, over and on. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the probie. These Peggy's wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate. P.E.G. Peggy's is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the T. Yeah, you know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below.
I'll be in the church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spook easily. Rook, on me. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing here? Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Hudson. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much out here. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet motion. Just keep your hands back and see. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on we will not let their greed, or their immorality, or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, you know, there will be no more there. suffering. Oh, fuck. It. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. We knew this moment would come. We've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Keep back! <laughs> 
Rookie, keep up. I am a federal marshal. I'm ordering you to stand back. It's back. 
They ambushed him. He's dead. We need to find those sinners. Ahead for the lumber mill. I'll be waiting. I need some help up here. The sinners could be anywhere. Do you hear me? We got a problem.
I think I lost them. I see a, a trailer nearby. It's next to a long bridge. I'm gonna try and get inside. If anyone's still out there, listen. If anyone's still alive. Think I found a trail here! God protected him, just as he'll protect us, as long as we trust in the Father. Won't be long before Eden's Gate has all the equipment it needs. Amen. Jesus Christ. Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula, and then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these. Okay. Shh. You motherfucking psychopaths! I need backup. Back there. I'd be dead if it weren't for you. We gotta get back. 
but we gotta be smart. We don't know who we can trust. Fucking Nancy. Oh no. Oh no. They got the roads blocked. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. 
Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's gotta be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're gonna do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Be careful out there. It's crawling with Peggy's. 
Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them. If I wanted to be a babysitter, I'd babysit my sister's kids. You can't resist the father's will for long! Sinner, you better tell us what you know! Where's the deputy hiding? you <clears throat> these loony fanatics are out of control if you want to protect yourself I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse should have some good gear squirreled away
Hey, Henry. I'm at the edge of the wood near where you spotted the fire sign. I don't know what that showboater was doing buzzing the treetops, but the sky is now clear of air traffic. That smoke plume is pretty thick, but I need a closer look. What I can't figure out is what all these peggies are doing out here. There's a whole bunch of them in the woods, calling out like they're looking for someone. I, I don't know if they're involved, but they seem pretty crusty and... Holy hell! A pickup just drove by like nobody's business and...
Grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. needs. I didn't imagine doing this. I've got a bone to pick with that cult.
Understood. Hey, deputy. Know where to find me. Now that you're partnered up, the two of you should head to the forest research station. Ghosts been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Clear them all out. Send a message. We're not fucking around anymore. You're an angel. Thank you. The cult's been creeping around the island for weeks. Looks like they're trying to set up a base of operations at the old ranger station.
Send these sinners to get sorted. Some will go to Jacob, some to John, others to Faith. You should have heeded our message when you had a chance. Why they're still alive is beyond me. Have an eye on these ones. Quiet for a sec, will ya? like them was, lost, angry, and afraid. Then I met Joseph Seed. Why they're still alive is beyond me. <laughs> should just waste them all. Keep a good lookout. The hell? <laughs> These folks should have been more generous. Don't waste your time thinking about them. Looks like someone bought me. This isn't gonna end well. We heard there was an attempted arrest, but the sheriff's office... Hey, fella. Shit, kid. I'm impressed. There's more fighting you than I thought. You got a real shot at setting up this resistance. 
Next step is clearing up the radio signal. My CB's on the fritz. I can't get a hold of anyone off this island. The radio tower near the south shore must be busted. You think you can take care of that for me? Step and I think they're here for my plane. 
We can't hold out for long. This is Grace, camping out at the Lamb of God Church. The Peggy's keep fucking with his place. This is Grace, camping out at the Lamb of God. This is Grace, camping out at the Lamb of God Church. Falls and has fallen to the Peggy. Father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dreamed could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? That freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. Yes. I am a sinner. Yes. I wish to be unburdened. Yes. I must be redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed, you will confess your sins, and you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Falls End. 